What is going on my Farigi friends? What is going on Mr. Pigeon? I want to welcome you to another very 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 special video. Maybe you remember this particular view. If you do, then you must know where I'm at. Exactly, I'm at the Honda Moto Europe Limited Slovakia <laughs> To be more precise Omnia Motors in Bratislava our local Honda dealership and as you've probably already figured the collaboration with Honda continues I got another bike for a week for testing and it's none other than drum roll please the CB500X that's right my freaky friends we have another adventure bike for testing so let's talk about things that I can see right away it has this protective frame which is very useful I hope we won't need it this time I really hope we won't need it this time it has these side frames for luggage it has a top case in this particular setup which I like I'll definitely use it full LED system I can see and what I read about this bike is there are two major upgrades coming with the 2022 version one would be the upgraded uh, front suspension which now is the 41 millimeter Showa separate function fork what it means we'll see on the road I had my CBR 650R with the old suspension then the very next year 2021 a new model came with this one so I always wanted to test it and also with this model we have upgraded brakes in front dual discs with two piston calipers it looks wonderful actually in the green it looks really nice <sighs> this is cute it's very compact okay oh dude Honda I really like Hondas the throttle feels extremely nice something that I noticed right away what are you doing dude really cool wow okay <laughs> Uh, it's good to be back at Honda and a very simple one actually I'm I'm enjoying this very much I had huge respect before the Africa twin test I was really distressed and for this one I was so much looking forward okay let's talk about the specs that I know the engine is a 471 cc parallel twin Honda actually promises very good torque throughout the rev range from the very bottom to the very top so far so great I can only confirm that it's a really lively fun engine not in the fourth gear though <laughs> what else okay the engine produces 47 HP at 8600 revs and uh, 43 Newton meters of torque at 6000 and 500 revs and this bike should share the same engine with CB500 and CBR500R which is great because I always wanted to test ride the CBR500 I was very curious about the engine so now I can sort of test it although I imagine this one is differently tuned and it's a different bike of course with a different basis so uh, different weight for sure this one weights around 200 kilo I think 199 and I forgot to set the rear view mirrors but they're big as hell so I don't even need to do it <laughs> so far so great it's really like uh, like a baby Africa twin I can already see now that the windscreen is again pretty narrow same as it was on the Africa twin so I imagine it won't offer me much wind protection but let's see about that I'll test everything and Honda is actually promising that this bike should be very versatile and perfect for both city riding 
and long distance traveling so we'll be testing that as well <laughs> now this gentleman was admiring this bike so huh, see it's an eye candy <laughs> Ah, what else did I notice? Oh, these little details, the fake carbon. I had the same on my CBR650R. This brings nice memories. Also, what's similar to my Rosie is the dash. It's basically the same, maybe a tiny bit smaller. Okay, and this engine is not Maybe not the torquiest, but I imagine it must be a lot of fun on a lighter CBR. I'd really like to test ride that bike. Honda, hear me out, please. The seat height is around 830 millimeters, I think. Uh, for me, for my 177 centimeters of height, it is ideal, really. From what I've heard and read so far, this should be one of the top picks for a beginner rider who wants an all-rounder, basically. Oh, of course, it might not be suitable for a track experience, but everything besides that, this bike should be perfectly capable of. It should tick all the boxes. So, as we're approaching the highway, huge shout out to Honda for giving me this chance. I was not expecting it but they seem to be quite enthusiastic about my uh, review of the Africa Twin. And here we are on a motorway. And I can feel the wind blast from the sides. Not so much in front, not so much on the helmet, which is very comfortable. Not much wind blast going through the nicely shaped white tank 17.5 liters that's amazing for a bike of this size feels very nice in turns well very comfortable very comfortable actually my whole body is relaxed I like that a lot I think <laughs> I think we'll like each other <laughs> I think this will be a nice week welcome home baby <laughs> Let's find you a spot. Here goes our first off-road experience. <laughs> Successfully passed. So, I'll leave you here for now. So, my freaky friends, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for all your support, feedbacks, emails. It's really great to be in touch with you. Take good care of yourselves, your loved ones. Ride safe, please. And I'll see you soon. Cheers, bye bye.